Uh, let's uh, bring you up to date with some breaking news from here in the UK. An inquest into the death of a woman whose disappearance prompted a massive search. This was back in January, at the end of January, and generated huge interest up and down the country, around the world as well, uh, has just delivered a verdict. I'm talking about Nicola Bully. Now, her death, we have just found out, has been recorded as accidental. This has come to us from Dr. James Adderley, who is the senior coroner for Lancashire. To remind you, uh, back in January, Nicola Bully disappeared. She was out walking her dog, her dog, uh, a Springer Spaniel called Willow, uh, in Lancashire shortly after finishing a work conference call. There was a search. You can see pictures from the scene here along the river and a statement by the local police force who classified her as a high-risk person. And what happened then was widespread speculation uh, in all of the media. Uh, right across the country, there was a lot of speculation about her whereabouts and a huge amount of concern as well. Her body was spotted by dog walkers a few miles downriver several weeks later. So just to confirm what we have just heard from the coroner, uh, that uh, she there was no indication, they said, of any desire that she had to take her own life. She fell into the river and died almost immediately. Uh, the coroner noted the improved health and well-being of Nicola, the fact that she was making plans, that there was normal behaviour that was being exhibited as well. He also said that it would be unusual for her to consider suicide and risk leaving Willow, her dog, and a choice to enter the river where passers-by may not have been able to see her or help her. So there is no natural disease to cause the death. The conclusion from the coroner is that she died an accidental death. So uh, the inquest uh, into her death opened yesterday. Uh, the coroner we heard from yesterday offering his condolences to the family. And just to remind you what the outcome uh, of the inquest or the initial aims of the inquest uh, were, was to determine who has died, where they died, when and how, as and by what means. Uh, the coroner also saying the inquest was to kind of stop the speculation that we have seen, but would not be able to explore all of the possibilities. So it was an intense couple of days uh, in the coroner's court um, where 14 witnesses were called, including experts in drowning. Nine members of the public were present in the area on the day and also uh, members of Nicola's family as well and of course a huge amount of journalists at the coroner's court to a huge amount of interest in this story as well so uh, we did hear from her partner uh, during the inquest as well that she had been looking forward to the future before her disappearance Paul Ansell saying there'd been concerns about her drinking she did have a blip over Christmas but was back to herself by January let's talk to Danny Savage who is there for us now. Danny, good to see you. Uh, just take us through what you've heard in court. Yeah, I think in the, well, the last hour we've had basically the conclusions of what the coroner said after listening to all the evidence over the last couple of days. So yesterday we had evidence from expert witnesses in looking at the death of Nicola Bully and today we heard more from her family and relatives uh, and those with an emotional and personal connection with her as well. So earlier today we did hear from uh, Paul, Ansel, Paul Ansel, who was her partner, talking about how everything seemed normal and that is the picture that her family painted of life with Nicola Bully in the days running up to her disappearance, that everything was absolutely normal. Yes, she'd had a blip with her health over Christmas when she'd come off her HRT therapy and was drinking too much, but in the weeks leading up to her disappearance, she'd started taking her medication again, she had stopped drinking. There was absolutely no indication that she was planning to take her own life, and that was the clear message that came from her family today. And the coroner, summing up this afternoon, giving his conclusions, did of course consider suicide uh, as, as, as a possible uh, conclusion to his thing. But he said there was, an, there was the absence of 
there was the, there was no evidence whatsoever of Nicola Bully wanting to take her own life. Um, she left her dog to which she was was devoted. She would never have done that. She would never have carried out such an act in such a public place where there were so many people passing by either. So it was only left with him to draw a conclusion of accidental death. And that was that at 9.22 on the 27th of January this year, Nicola Bully accidentally fell into the River Wire at St Michael's on Wire and died almost immediately. We heard expert evidence over the last couple of days about cold water immersion shock and how quickly you can become unconscious once going into the water. Uh, it would have been almost immediate uh, and there was medical evidence of the effect that that cold water can have on your body when you go into it. It was something like 3.6 degrees Celsius, the water temperature at the time. That would have caused a huge adrenaline surge, possibly an almost instantaneous heart attack and gasps of breath probably underwater. Nicola Bully would have died almost straight away. Now the reason we're all here in such mass numbers of course, and there's so much interest in this case, is that there was huge speculation between the time she vanished and the three weeks later when her body was found about what had happened to her. Her friends stood by the roadside in St Michael's on Wire with missing posters wanting any information about what could have happened to her. Of course, with hindsight, we know that she simply drowned in the river at that time. And shortly we'll be hearing um, some thoughts from a, a representative of her family about how difficult that time was when people speculated about what had happened to her. Danny, thank you so much, and we will return to the Crown Court when we, uh, that indeed happens. But to remind you, the coroner has concluded that Nicola Bully fell into the River Wire and died almost immediately.